crossed over the Assam Plains and we are now heading into jungle hills, hill jungle, which will take us all the way to Konsa. We have since uh, risen out of the Assam Plains and we are now climbing into the mountains uh, north, I should say southeast, in Arunachal. A lot of tea farming and some curious folks on the hill. Woodcutter? And then on the arms. Just waiting for the uh, backhoe to clear the way for us. He's working on a landslide here. We've just stopped to uh, check out the conditions of the road because uh, looking up ahead, looking a little, uh, little dicey. Can't imagine what this is going to be like in the monsoon. Fun anyway. An area of cultivation for the wanchos. People are cultivating. And what I'm told though, is all the green stuff that you're looking at. I'm going to swing over to my right here. It's all uh, illegal opium cultivation. Not supposed to grow in here. If the government officials find it, they'll get fined for it. Pretty stuff, though. So, Fortune was saying that this is tapioca that's drying, and they use it for making their beer. And the grandmother of the household is coming on out. Quite a lady here. Quite a lady. <laughs> oh, they wanted to show me her tattoos. Oh, very nice. All of her legs. You pushed it already? Yes, recording. So we are here with our Wancho family and they have been uh, harvesting tapioca and it's out drying right now. And uh, we've had some demonstration of the kinds of clothes that they wear. This beautiful necklace, which is just stunning, with bear's teeth and some ivory on it. And they gave us a pong, which was very gracious as well. But this lady has allowed me to take a picture and she has some wonderful tattoos on her legs that you can see in uh, some of the other footage that we took. And uh, good looking lady, nice looking, nice face. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to show them a couple more pictures from uh, my camera here. Okay, great. Okay. So these young guys have uh, just slaughtered a pig. How do you say this in one chunk? Walk. Walk. Gug. 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 Gug.
Ya. Rock. 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 Sounds like a bad word. Yeah. And uh, they're scraping, scraping off the hair and the, basically the skin. And then what will they do after this? After? They eat. Just eating. Yeah. So it's already been cooked. Not yet. Not yet. So we're yeah. gonna cook it next. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. It's smiling. It's smiling at us. The pig. Excellent. Good. Nice. He's from Chile. 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 His name is Chile. Chile. And what village is he from? Mintong. From Intong. Mintong. 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 And on his face, he has tattoos. And when did he get his tattoos? Ask him. When did he get them? Yeah. He says he don't know exactly when. Was there a special reason for it? It's a sign of bravery, exactly. Sign of bravery. So he's a very brave man. Yeah, in those days when head and thing used to be there. You can see the tattoos. So, uh, Fo Chun here is uh, brought me to the house of his aunt. And what, what is her name again? Visan Mate. Visan Mate. Yeah. Okay. And here she is smiling. <laughs> what is smile to smile in uh, what in Nokte? Yes, Nieko Nieko. Nieko Nieko. Right. And uh, I was just asking about, um, she also has some tattoos on her back and you said her arms yes, also? Yes, she has. And she was just going to tell us a little bit about that. But. อ่าคาเค่ตะกงกงกงกุนี่กุนี่อะตึงเชียวๆอ่าอะดีกว่าจินจินจีราตะดาเอ๊ะเป็นนี่อีเลยสมกวกชิ้นนี่สมกวกที
Not yet. So these clans they get together in separate colony to perform this tattoo mm -hmm. uh, during fest festival time. Okay, Blow during people. cello. Yeah, cello time. Cello time. Excellent. Did she remember being scared or anything about the specific day? See, she was not afraid at all. She was not frightened at all. But some of uh, her companions, uh, after doing half of their tattooing, they ran away from her. Ran away, and, yeah. but she but stayed. She completed, yeah. Uh, some they left half, half with half tattooing, they ran away, and she completed. All right. Uh, she has in her back, uh -huh. in her shoulders. Was she happy to have it? Was it something, it was probably something special, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see her. Sure. See? Oh, yeah. look at that. You know, I'm going to get her to come. Can she move? Is that the flower? Very nice. And is it, the technique is the same? Yeah, yeah, technique is the same, most like of them. So why are the Noktes so much better at doing tattoos? Because... Will be able to tell me your good name? Good one. Good, good one? Yeah. Good one. And he is the successor to the chief of the village of Keti. Keti? Keti village. Yes. Keti village. And uh, he's take, brought us in inside the Pang, which is like the Morong, to view something you've all been waiting for and that is evidence of uh, the head hunting days and he says they keep it here mainly as a historical memory <laughs> Cannibals also there. Cannibal tribe. Papua New Guinea. Yes. Mm, not so. Not so well in the old days, Solomon Islands. Yeah, so. We're in uh, Laju, and we're talking to a couple who the lady definitely used to. Do tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. What what, what see the old tattoos on her face there. She has a good face. <laughs> she got an injury. <coughs> so unfortunately our master tattooist, she has had some very big difficulties in the last while. And she doesn't hear well and uh, doesn't see very well. So it's a bit of a dead end, but she looks like a very good lady. Yeah. <laughs> The sound you're hearing is gunfire on the Myanmar border. I'm not sure what it is. We think it's just uh, routine. But uh, we'll stay close to the circuit house tonight in Laju. I think they're, uh, they're after us, my friend. 
So this is old Nyanu village part? Nyosa, sorry. Nyosa. Right. My friend mom here says that this is what they use for their tattooing technique. What is this called? <coughs> it is called Zhe. Zhe. Zhe in local dialect. Right. Ken, no? Very good. The roofs here are very distinct. A long hike up to the top of Nyosa. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Very fine. Very fine. Not tired. A bit tired. Okay, well, let's go. Yeah. Wangi Lukam. Lukam. Wangi Lukam is a villager here. The uncle of this young man right here. Yes. You can see the difference. This man, modern clothes, and Wangi. So, can you ask him how he does he remember getting the tattoo on his face? No, he. How can I? How can I? Oh. After head hunting uh -huh. and after all those wars and all. Oh, okay. Did he ever kill anybody? Yes, I did. He did. Can you tell me about it? No. I can't even tell There's a village called Kon. Konnu. Konnu. There, when he went for war, yeah, uh, he then did those things. I mean, like killing and all. Really? Yeah. And did he, he feel says that I just can't remember all those things, but still. Was he proud about about <laughs> about fighting? Yes, I was proud on, uh, in those days, but uh, right now, how can I be proud? This is a wancho ladder heading up to the second story. And the chief has four wives, and these are their dormitories. I'm not allowed to go inside. It's very private. Very private. So, lead on. Let's see what's ahead. Oh my gosh, a modern drum set. That's great. I like it. This is gong. This the gong. And uh, oh, the ancient gongs. Am I able to hear this? Can I hear this one? No. Bye bye. The bye. Bye. This is the royal throne, the seat, and only this chief is allowed to sit there with a picture of the local MLA hanging above his head. And the trophies. Younger brother of the chief. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this man here is smoking opium. <laughs> is it common to smoke opium in the village? Yes, yes, very common. Yeah? Opium kusu And they put water inside? Yeah. Water inside. When you go on the half. So where does the opium get put in? Here. Yes, it is burning it. And he has tattoos on his face, doesn't he? Yeah. It takes long yeah. time to prepare it, no? To get ready. Mama. Mama. The opium. Yeah. It takes uh, nearly one to two hours to prepare it. If it is an original piece, five bits will cost you around 500 to 600 rupees. 500 600 rupees to buy that? Per piece? It costs more than 1,000. Who do you want Maybe. We have one up to 1,000 rupees or so. If you buy it for the whole necklace, I mean uh, the beach, it might cost you around seventy to eighty thousand.
Nini talangabe. Na kiem nok. Kiem nok kam hung pu maulo dong la la. Ni sa hama mi haka kuto. Pong song ta ta dong kwa la anito. Na ang tu dong pu lang ang tu dong pu hai. Dong dem ting zai kiem kai kwa ya. Ho pu o su ni. Bang ling tu ke ni ko anyi lang la cha kwa. Tu ni sa ha ting zang ma. This is how they do it. That is the style. Style of hunting, head hunting. They go this way. Bala siapa? No. Bukan so. Macam ni. Ini yang lo yang lo tu kui saya pun je. Saya kau ni. Saya hei. Sik tu mui nak le. Ayam tu jauh kotor kotor tu kui saya pun. Hei lah ini mui. Yo. Kita nak ni atau kui? Ben ben yang mui sih gua. And even he says like uh, when they go for war, it's not like we always kill or we always get our hunt, but uh, sometimes um, or else we, don't have, we would have already killed all those villagers, <laughs> only there would have no, uh, there would have been no village as such. Incredible. So did, and does he know how many people he killed? Nang obi lang kuli tigjimi nang kuhi tabi lang kuhi he has killed one to one one tiyak mo na halakang ob ay hizi zat ka lang matata lang he's saying he has kuhi tigjimi nang kuhi kuhi lang kuwa apatay mo ayam pay kabaza what did he do with those people when they were killed he says that she had brought it's always like that person who goes for war they will have to bring some kind of sign at least if it's uh, uh, the finger. finger, finger. It's so what did he do? Yeah, you have killed the person. So he brought one, hold this thing. What you call? Ah, uh, yeah. So like foot. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says that he has got one more friend with him. His name is Manlim. He brought one uh, head. So that was uh, the, how they. So he brought a foot. Yeah. <coughs> he didn't bring a head actually, but uh, a foot to right. prove his bravery that he had really killed the person. Right. Lupa bang ini masuk la no. Jangan itu standing kayak buat kecil lebih hal. Semua nak lupa jangan. Nah. Things on the warrior, who was just smoking opium and showing me, and telling me about his head hunting days. This is his warrior attire. Quite a figure. His tattoos here. No, no, just looking at this one. Kalau ni lo, orang awak ni. Hai nang ni hutu hutu, hai tanya hai tu hutu tak? Mak akak ada ha, ini tak ini tak buang kap kap waktu tak kaya. He's gonna show me his. Nah ini nasi ko, tap tahan they dance like this. This is how they dance, like the other guy. Just opening this up here to show us his opium patch, or I should say his poppy patch. And this is where he does his harvesting using those tools over there. Using the Swiss Army knife, he's cutting the opium flower, or the poppy. There, you can see the sap on that one. And he's collecting it with a cloth. There, you can see the sap coming out. I think I'll send this to Swiss Army Knife Company. <laughs> the many uses of a Swiss Army Knife. So Fortune, our driver has uh, abandoned us. <laughs> and we are striking out on foot. <laughs>